Hey everybody, can we just like sit down here for a bit and geek about how Brewster is going to be in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Finally! Finally we get confirmation about this. This is huge news for anybody who's been waiting for our lovely little pigeon boy to come and serve us some coffee. So it is going to be great. So here is some of what is going on, at least what we know thus far. He is coming back to the museum. So this is obviously a call back to basically Brewster's start. He started out in Wild World, was in the museum, and had his own coffee shop there called The Roost. The Roost is back, it's 24-7 once again, and it's going to be upstairs in the museum. And oh, I'm so excited to see what the inside looks like. It does look like we got it teased a little bit, but it did really give me a lot of questions, to be honest with you. My first question, and this is a weird one, but I'm kind of wondering if K.K. Slider is going to start performing at the museum. Part of me kind of hopes so, just because the plaza space is pretty small for K.K. Slider, in the sense that there's somebody walking in and out of a door right behind him the whole time, and as a performer, that's probably not the best little situation to perform in. So, I do wonder if K.K. Slider is going to be moving there. My next question is, will special characters show up here at the coffee shop? It was always a really nice surprise to go in during different hours of the day and find one of the special characters sitting at the counter getting their coffee from Brewster and it was really nice to experience that just because it gave you another little conversation to have with a special character. I think I would especially appreciate this if we ran into Isabel specifically in the coffee shop because she, oh that poor little dog, is just trapped inside of that resident services building and she needs to get out and even like when she's standing, I don't know if you all have seen this, but sometimes she's standing like really close to the counter looking out the window really longingly. When I first saw her there, I really tried to go and talk to her, but it's just, it's not an option. So there's characters like this where I would love to see just another form of interaction with them because right now it's really all business with Isabel, which just doesn't feel right. She's such a cute, quirky character and we get that a lot in New Leaf, but I feel like that's not really on display in New Horizons yet. So personally, I would also really love if special characters started to show up at the coffee shop. My next question from here is if we're going to have the coffee shop minigame return. I have I've been pretty vocal about this on the podcast, but I just don't think the minigame in New Leaf was very good. I think the rewards for playing the minigame were great, but on its own, it's not too playable. I feel like the minigame just really needs to be improved in order to make it just something that's fun, I guess? I mean, it's fun, it's cute, but what I'm saying is that I literally had to go and get a guide and look up all of the coffee orders because there was no way that I could actually figure them out on my own. So that's the big change I want to happen to the minigame. I just need it to be something that fits the game in a way that it doesn't have you like going on the internet and just looking everything up, you know? I want it to be fun and enjoyable, and I want to be rewarded for doing a good job in the minigame too, without the help, of course. My next question from here is the return of gyroids. Many longtime fans know that Brewster is the number one gyroid fan in all of Animal Crossing, and it was to the point that in City Folk, Brewster was in charge of holding on to your gyroids for you, and it really made it cool because that was another little exhibit on its own inside of the museum, and that's something that I really need at this point in the game. I have completed every single thing in the museum. I've completed the art, the bugs, the fish, the diving creatures. I just want something new to collect and put it toward a little exhibit, maybe. I don't know if... I guess I don't know if the coffee shop is the right place to have that type of thing, but it would be really nice to see, and I think I do want to see the return of gyroids. Finally, my last question is, 
Will Brewster ever get his own building? This is a huge one. I personally would have loved and preferred, honestly, a, a full coffee shop building. How cute would that be on all of our islands? I think everybody is thinking how cool it would have been to make a little cafe, a little area on your island that really highlighted it. And this really honestly confirms something that I've been basically thinking about New Horizons and one of the big ways that the development team is keeping this game running as well as it does because I don't know if you all have seen those really overcrowded islands with lots of things but you really start to see how hard that makes the switch run you see a lot of pop in a lot of lag it's really hard to move around in those islands but I think they're artificially limiting that from happening by minimizing the amount of buildings that appear on the island. Unfortunately, it looks like Brewster may be hit by that little development quirk that New Horizons has. He probably doesn't have his own building and is put back in the museum just because they're trying to keep the game as clutter-free as possible without forcing you to like tone down your decorating outside. So unfortunate because I think decorating a cafe on its own just sounds so nice. I, it would be such a refreshing view as you walk around, but I guess we'll have to settle for now with the museum, but I do hope that in the future we can get our own little Brewster cafe building. Oh, I just, oh, it just makes me so excited. Okay, so I can't go on without talking about this. The big thing here is that we are getting an Animal Crossing Direct in October. It's fully dedicated to Animal Crossing. This is rare. This is this doesn't happen too often. Nintendo typically announces games in directs and then gives them maybe one dedicated direct. This is a second direct dedicated all for Animal Crossing. And because this is happening, I do think that we're going to finally see a 2.0 update. I think that that's huge. A 2.0 update is something that we kind of have been hoping would happen since the one year anniversary. It's happening a little bit later than that. It looks like November is the date that Nintendo has landed on and that honestly it adds up. All of the items from the last update will have run their course by mid-November and it makes sense to add like Turkey Day and Toy Day and all of the new events as well as whatever is coming in this big update. So I'm here for it. I am here to see all of the surprises. Already Brewster is a huge addition but I do think this is going to launch us into the 2.0 version of Animal Crossing which means we've probably got a lot of really awesome updates on the way. I think it's been slow. It's been really slow this past summer. Basically since the Sanrio update we haven't seen really huge things added to New Horizons. It's been kind of the existing events that we've lived through before, so I'm really hoping that this is launching us into a, the next era. And I think that's really the best thing that can happen for the game right now. I know the discourse around it has been pretty negative and people have been kind of bored with it, but I think this is their opportunity to bring players back and really find things that are interesting to do. Are we going to see mini games return like Minigame Island for online multiplayer? Are we going to see other special characters return from here on out? What what we're going to see here is basically going to outline a lot of what's upcoming and I think it's going to go further than just covering this one update. I think they're really going to set a roadmap for what to expect over the next like 6 to 12 months. You know what I mean? And finally, it's time to talk about these new amiibo cards that were confirmed. This was not in the direct. This was actually tweeted after the fact by the Japanese Animal Crossing account on Twitter, as well as the North American account. I think probably the other ones got it as well, but those are the two that tend to pop up on my feed first. So we're getting some new amiibo cards. It is a series five. So the first four series all consisted of a hundred cards, and I'm sure we're gonna see another hundred cards fill up the fifth series. I am excited. I own every single Animal Crossing amiibo card, so to, just to know that there's more on the way, I am ready for it. And I do want to let you all know, 
tune in pretty soon on my channel. You're going to have to subscribe for this one because I want you all to get alerted to it if you're interested. But I am making a video covering all of the cards that I think will appear in this set. And there is a lot of nice speculation in there. There's some that I think are obvious, like, you know, the new villagers, new characters and stuff. There's some that may not be as obvious to other players. So... Uh, that I do think will appear in this and then there's some really fun speculation about what I feel can come So stay tuned for that video. It's coming out pretty soon. I'm working on it Probably as you're watching this. So yeah, I hope you all can stick around and enjoy it with me But really I am just so pumped to see what's coming for Animal Crossing And I'm really just happy for all of us who've been waiting desperately for this new update I think it's it's about time. It's well deserved and I really applaud all of you for being at least a little bit patient with Nintendo while this while this happens and comes out. So anyways, like I said, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be here with more Animal Crossing news, more Nintendo news, and I really appreciate you all hanging out with me. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!